The City of Los Angeles in general and Public Works Department in particular uh, provides training and education for students who are trying to prepare for professional careers. And the Department of Public Works is intricately involved in its five bureaus to make sure that students have the opportunity to inculcate themselves to the experiences they will get. The kinds of work they are doing is related to the professions that they are studying. Engineering, for example, and then in terms of financial services, the same. One thing about financial services is that they are generally involved in every organization. During the summer, I've been actually going to different departments and interviewing them, so asking them specific questions, whether it's about how the shortfall has impacted their department or what they are currently doing in order to work around this. So I apply because I know that when it comes to politics and also just working with the government, there's a lot to learn and a lot of transferable skills into real life. So I realized that not only would I be able to learn finance and deal with something in my field, but also at the same time, I'd be able to gain real world experience. After the George Floyd experience, we looked at the data and decided that there were areas uh, we had an underrepresentation of African American engineers. We had in our accounting department an underrepresentation there as well. And so we decided to put together the HBCU Recruitment Committee. And this would have allowed us, even though we are not able to get the talent here within the state, people from this state are going to school in other places and we wanted to be a vehicle by which they could return home and be a part of this great city when they get their knowledge and skills. For anyone that has no idea what this internship is about and how I would explain it to them, I would say that it's maybe surveying, going around asking people how the situation has impacted them. For this instance, examining the impact of the budget shortfall on public services. I'm going around to other departments, people that are dealing with these firsthand and asking them how they are dealing with it, how it's affected them, and how they think that they will proceed in the future. The thing that people in this country aspire more than anything is to be given an opportunity to have an equal chance. And when I think about diversity, I think it is the strength of who we are. But I think equally, inclusion. Can I be included in what we do? And so these three principles are the core values that bring us together for what I call the American dream.